Greetings, you're on your friend 99 here, and I just wanted to talk about how Moon Lord is actually the greatest video game boss of all time. I just wanted to make this video because it's it, it just such good it's it just such a good boss I wanna talk about. Okay, so <clears throat> every other boss in the game is just a question of can you outsmart a boss and they have like two attacks, right? Except the Empress of Light. Um but What's special about the Moonlord, what's really good about him, is that he has no fucking pattern. He has, n he has no attack pattern. He just does whatever the fuck he feels like. And also, none of his attacks have tells. This is actually really good because he's the final boss and he should be hard. <clears throat> okay, he's a uh, there's also his attacks encourage staying far away, except you can. Because he has a giant laser that just kills you if you stay far away. Um, the, also, you cannot chase him because the the game discourages you from it. Except every tutorial on how to beat the boss, it's it just it's just a, a cheat strategy. Uh, so the, the, <laughs> this is good good game design because it, it it's actually so good that they disable. To think, stop making the game a sandbox right at the end. It's actually so, so, so smart. Also, he restores health and, and doesn't doesn't really like it. Doesn't he doesn't show it? He, he just he just kind of does it. Despite like you, you can stop the attack, but it's nearly impossible to, to see even if you n know what the fuck is going on. What's also really good is that the game makes you do a 15 minute or more boss rush just to fight him again. This is actually really good and, and really adds to the fair challenge of the game. Also, he's invincible half the time. This is actually really, really good game design because he's, he's, he's supposed to be hard also. Um, uh, okay, yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Man, I fucking I, I love the Moonlord. He's such a good. He's he fucking. Fun.